Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I know that this is uh, an issue that's uh, happening away from here, and I think that uh, under the leadership of Regional Chief Gugu and and uh, the rest of the community and elders, um, they'll determine what best to to happen with the Cornwallis statue in terms of reconciliation. You don't have a personal stance on it? No, I would uh, support what the uh, community wants to do in terms of the best uh, way to approach uh, a resolution that embraces reconciliation and what the community wants. Put it somewhere that it can be tell, the story can be told, but don't honour and worship it in that park like this. I respect the mayor's uh, um, challenges. If he has to go through a committee and make recommendations. If the Cornwallis statue has Cornwallis Park, Cornwallis Street. All of those things have to be renamed. What are they going to be renamed? You just can't take the statue down and nothing there. So there's a process I respect, you know. He's committed to do that, and I, uh, I commend him for his hard work to do that. Well, I think there's a movement across Canada for reconciliation, and I think uh, there's a big movement now to start telling history from First Nations perspectives. And there's a big movement now to start honoring people that have contributed in a positive way and not honoring people that have contributed in a negative way. So there's movements now, for example, even changing the name of the Langevin building in Ottawa. Uh, that's happening. And so that, I think that movement should be embraced. And I think uh, the, if you want to move down that road and path called reconciliation, then it's very important that you look at all the things, you know, from a First Nations perspective and, um, and support the changes uh, that will bring about that reconciliation.